Hello artists! Today we will be showing you how to complete the pendulum painting project for Day of Play. To begin, you will need to construct two towers big enough to lay a straight object across and far enough apart to let the paper cup fit in between the towers easily. You can build your own towers using Lego bricks or blocks, or you could use something that's already big and level, like two wooden chairs. For step two, place a long straight object across the top of your towers. Using the string provided, now tie the cup so that it hangs from the string evenly by poking the string through both holes on the top of the cup and tying it together. Now you can tie the other end of the string around your ruler or broom. Let your cup hang and test it out with a gentle swing back and forth. For step four, Place a sheet of paper or newspaper between your towers. Make sure you cover the entire space where the paper cup could swing. Step five, add a small amount of water to the paint provided and stir until you have an even consistency. It doesn't take much water, so add a little bit at a time until you have a runny paint that will flow freely. Place your finger over the hole in the bottom of the paper cup and carefully fill it with your paint mixture. Now, get ready to swing. The final step, you will release your paint pendulum and watch the patterns that develop from the loose paint on the paper. If you have enough time before your paint runs out, adjust the swing to make spirals, lines, and curves on your paper. Don't forget to take time to marvel at your artistic science experiment. Feel free to try this experiment again and again. If you don't have extra paint at home, you can make a mixture of flour, water, and food coloring, which will fall out of your pendulum the exact same way. Notice the differences when you shorten the length of the string, when you change the amount of force you start the swing with, and when you adjust the height of the whole tower. I hope you had some fun making some art with us today. See you next time.